When it comes to vision, some people are lucky to have great eyesight without the help of vision correction, and some people just aren't and they need contacts, glasses, or vision correction surgery. However, one vision issue that is unfortunately inevitable for all of us is cataracts. I recently sat down with Daniel Trevine at Vance Thompson Vision to learn why he is so passionate about cataracts and how that passion can have you seeing clearly in no time. Dr. Trevine, thanks for having me out here at Vance Thompson Vision. We're talking about cataracts today. Yeah. Ashley, thanks for you know coming out to see us. I'm really excited to talk about cataracts. It's something that I spend all my time thinking about, so this is exciting. So let's start by talking about what a cataract is. Yeah, so a cataract is when your natural clear lens that you're born with becomes cloudy and discolored over time. And as that happens, we call that a cataract. And eventually, everyone will get a cataract. And we take those cataracts out when people are bothered by them. And so if you say, boy, my vision's not as clear as it used to be, or uh, I'm having glare with headlights, then it's time to take the cataract out. Is there a point where people just decide to live with cataracts, or will they eventually be bad enough that you don't have a choice? You know, what's interesting is cataracts are the number one cause of blindness in the world. So in the underdeveloped world, there are tons of people who are totally blind from their cataracts. Now in the U.S., uh, we have an amazing access to technology, uh, and so most often people will have their cataracts out, most, most usually in their 70s to 80s. So is that when they first develop, or is that by the time they have them out, that for yeah. most people? It's a, it's a process. So it's your natural lens, and just like the rest of our body, it just it's not quite what it used to be when we were 20, and so it's a slow change. It starts really developing in your 40s, and that's when you need reading glasses, uh, because that lens is inflexible like it used to be, and then it becomes more firm and harder and becomes more cloudy and discolored. And usually it gets to the point that people are bothered kind of in their 70s, but it can happen anywhere from, you know, 30 uh, to 100. If it's inevitable, are you better off taking care of it right away so that you have that clear, crisp vision for, you know, the second half of your life? Yeah. You know, what I tell patients is, we take out cataracts when you're bothered by them, and that's really the reason to take them out. You know, So if we have someone who says, boy, I do everything I want to do in life. I can read, I can watch TV, I can drive, I don't have any problems doing my work, um, I can watch the sports like I want to, then we can just keep watching them. But you know, the technology is so good that I tell people, why, why live with uh, not perfect vision if you could have better vision? And so a lot of people elect to have them out right when they become symptomatic. Can you do other types of vision correction with a cataract surgery and basically leave seeing even better than ever? Yeah, you know, the process, like I mentioned, is slow. So people don't realize what they've lost. And they've lost two functions, right? They've lost the clarity because that lens isn't clear. And they've also lost the flexibility of that lens. And so they need, not only are things not clear, but they need help seeing up close, which you didn't need when you were young and the lens was flexible. And with today's advanced implants, we can really correct that nearsightedness also. There's uh, a whole multitude of lenses, you know, uh, Dr. Thompson and our team here have been involved in the development of a lot of those lenses. And so we have access to a lot of technology that will really allow people to be, you know, free from glasses if that's what they choose. I, I love that you brought up all the technology and everything that you've been involved with before. Is there anything coming up or some kind yeah. of new advances? So our center here has been in over 100 FDA clinical trials from anything from glaucoma to new lens implants to LASIK and laser vision correction. Uh, there's a lens that we're using right now called the panoptics lens. It's a trifocal lens that gives people really good distance, intermediate, and near. And those people don't need glasses for much of anything. 95% of people in that never use glasses uh, after their cataract surgery. We're also in several clinical trials right now that we're enrolling for, for new lens implants and new LASIK uh, lasers and things like that. And so there's a lot of really exciting research and technology that's happening. Can we talk about what you have to offer here at Vance Thompson Vision in terms of getting both of your eyes taken care of, like relatively close together? Yeah. So, you know, the typical way that it's done is the first eye is done. Usually people wait anywhere from one week to one month to get the second eye done. Uh, when I was at the University of Iowa, we did a lot of research on, on this. And in other countries, 
a lot of times the eyes are done in the same day. And so what we are able to do here is we do one eye one day and the other eye the next day. And so that, you know, we call it same day, next day surgery. It really allows people to get back to their life faster. Uh, it's just as safe as waiting a week or a month. Um, but it gives people the ability to do the things they want to do without having a week of waiting for that other eye to get done. So people just love that. It also really helps people who are driving. You know, people, especially in South Dakota, there's bad roads and bad weather, and it's uh, less trips back and forth for people, so that's really important and really convenient. Now, with so many options to get the best vision ever, how does somebody know what the best option for them is, or how do you determine that? Yeah, it it's really comes down to educating people on their choices and letting them decide how they want to see for the rest of their life because this is kind of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity when you get that lens taken out and replaced with an implant. It's their once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to say, this is how I want to use my eyes. And for some people, that's using glasses uh, for everything. They, they just, their glasses are a part of them. But for a lot of people, they say, boy, I would sure love to be out of glasses uh, for the rest of my life, and, and this is that opportunity. So we really talk to people about what their hobbies are, uh, whether they do a lot of sewing, or they love gardening, or they love golf. And so talking to people about what they do with their eyes is really important to figure out how they want to see after their surgery. Can maybe not being happy with your vision to begin with be helpful in kind of pushing up the cataract surgery? Like if I already know that my vision's never been great for, you know, reading, might I think like, oh, I'm going to watch for this sooner yeah. than later because this is my chance to fix it all. Yeah, and you know, we can correct all sorts of refractive errors. So if someone's been very nearsighted their whole life or very farsighted their whole life, we can correct all of that at the time of cataract surgery also. So uh, it's really a, a, a nice option for people who've always wanted to be out of glasses and they say, God, I'm symptomatic now. Uh, I'm going to get this taken care of now. If I do that early on, is there any risk of it coming back? Uh, cataracts are, like I said, I, I've said once in a lifetime because once you take them out, they never come back. Okay. Uh, they're in about 20 to 30 percent of people. Sometimes the lens needs polishing. That only has to be done once also. But once that cataract's out, it's, it's gone forever. Well, thank you for sitting down with me. I don't, I don't know if I always say like talking about cataracts yeah. is exciting, but you make it so exciting. Because well, it's so much Ashley, fashion. we really appreciate you coming out here and, and we're excited to take care of any patients that have any issues. You will be greeted with excellence from the moment you walk in the doors at Vance Thompson Vision. If you'd like to schedule a consultation with any one of the experts at Vance Thompson Vision to talk about which vision correction surgery is the best option for you, give them a call in Sioux Falls at 605-361-3937. You can also find out more by visiting vancethompsonvision.com.